Hello, welcome to Dr. Bob TV for week 16, where we have an eight and four record so far with Dr. Bob telling you who to bet on with, on Monday nights with both the side and the total. So hopefully we can bring that record up to 10 and four. We got a uh, Monday night game featuring Denver and San Diego, and uh, hopefully um, the, uh, it'll be a good game because one team has something to play for and one team really doesn't. Uh, I do expect a good game, actually. Um, Denver really doesn't have anything to play for, but um, it's rare that a team just gives up on the season. I think that's a little bit overblown. Uh, in fact, teams that really are mathematically limited actually are pretty good bets in the final couple weeks no most of the time. Uh, Denver uh, offensively has done a great job all year moving the ball. They haven't been able to score uh, relative to how much yards they're getting, which has been their problem. Um, but Denver should be able to move the ball pretty good and score in this game enough. San Diego's defense, solid, good against the run, good against the pass when Merriman's playing. Merriman has been upgraded to probable for this game, but I still think uh, they're going to be take it easy with him. I don't think they want to risk any further injury with Sean Merriman heading into the playoffs. So I think San Diego's defense is not going to be quite at full strength here, and uh, Denver should score enough points to keep this pretty close. Now San Diego's offense has come around since struggling early in the season. Uh, Denver's defense, though, um, quietly has gotten a lot better, and people don't realize that in we before Week 10, uh, Mike Shanahan made some changes to the defense, uh, switched a couple of starters, um, moved, uh, moved some players around, and since then actually has, has put an extra player in the box to stop the run. And since then, uh, Denver's defense has gotten pretty solid, actually. In the first, uh, first nine weeks of the season, or eight games, uh, they were allowing 6.2 yards per play on defense to opponents who would combine to average 5.4 yards per play. So they were 0.8 yards per play worse than an average defense. But in the last six games, since making those defensive changes, Denver's only allowed 4.8 yards per play against a uh, schedule of offensive teams that would normally gain 4.7 yards per play. So they're only 0.1 yards per play worse than average defensively in the last six games since making some defensive changes. So Denver's defense is now underrated, and I think uh, that leads me toward uh, leaning with uh, Denver and also leaning with the under. Uh, my math model predicts, uh, predicts San Diego by 6.5 with a total of 44.5. The current line is 8.5 and, and 47 as of Sunday. Uh, so uh, Denver plus the points and the under is the way I lean uh, in this game. So Denver and the under it is. It's been pretty hot on the uh, totals. Um, and uh, our math model actually likes Denver also. So that's a uh, ringing endorsement for Denver. And hopefully next week we'll be talking to you with the 10-4 and 4 record. Thanks for joining us for Dr. Bob TV. And uh, we'll see you next week.